In, the, in our last video, we talked about how to read and write vari variables in script task. But that's just one way of doing it. But there is another way or another method of doing this task. So where we don't we don't read or, or we don't lock any variables ahead, uh, you know, but we lock them during the runtime, right before we actually read or write. So what did, what does it mean? So in, in this script task, remember, we had selected the read only variables from the drop down and write, you know, write variables, uh, you know, read write variables uh, from this drop down list of variables that are present in this package. Now, this is and in this in the edit script, we noticed that um, we just access the variable using the DTS dot variables, you know, collection. And in that collection, there is a uh, we, you know, with an index, we are able to access our variable using the user, you know, semicolon, semicolon and the variable three, which actually, you know, uh, gets the uh, our va variable and then we get the value using dot value, you know, property. And uh, so this is how we did it. But there is another way to do it, with which I'll show you. So let's disable this script task. I'm going to drag and drop a new one. And this this method is called variable dispenser method. So, you know, the only downside with this method is that you have to use more code. So, but the advantage here is you don't need to lock any variables ahead. You have to lock them, you know, in your code right before you actually read them. So if you, uh, if you click edit script, okay, so everything is going to be same and uh, we are just going to jump to the main method because this is where we're going to be, uh, you know, writing our code or changing. So in this case, the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to access the DTS uh, dot the variable variable dispenser, you know, method. So in this method, there is a, there are, uh, you know, in this um, class there are two other methods uh, lock for read so this is where we are, we are saying I would like to lock a variable to read so the same method applies so we have to select the the user variable in this case it's var1 and uh, remember we have to lock two variables because uh, because we are reading the uh, we have to lock for read to uh, we have to do this for two variables because we are reading the value from these two variable and assigning back to the third variable so the example that we are going to show is very simple that we discussed in the last video where basically we are going to read the value from variable one and variable two and we're going to sum them and we're going to assign them back to the third variable and uh, if you rem if I remember if you if you remember these variables are created uh, before in the package uh, I'll show you just uh, I forgot to mention this before but uh, these variables are already created in the package so in order to access the variables in the script task one requirement in this one is that you have these variables have to be present in the package um, you know you don't need to you know you know set anything else they just have to be present in the package so we just did the locking for read and now we have to basically repeat the step for to lock the variables for write okay lock for write and in this case it's going to be the variable 3 okay now once you assign these variables uh, the next thing you have to do is you have to uh, access the variables collection but you cannot access them directly you have to actually uh, you know you know you have to actually access them using a temporary variable collection basically you have to move these variables uh, into the temporary variable and then you have to use a temporary variable to get the actual variable so let's first uh, define a, a a variable collection so we're going to use the dts variable dispenser again so in this case we're going to use a method called uh, get variables so in this case you know we are going to just um, now this in this method you know in this case we are going to refer these variables using you know the temporary variables uh, you know collection that we created called var 
and this var now becomes a list of you know the collection of variables so we are going to uh, access the you know our variable using the the regular index that you know on how you actually normally access a variable so in this case we are going to be access user var1 dot value now the properties that you can see is almost the same as the you know properties or methods you can see almost the same as the last one where um, we can get the value or we can get the data type but in this case we are just wanted the wanted to get the value so we add this value to the variable we're going to sum the variable two as well and then we're going to assign this value to the third value third variable So, as discussed before, we have to explicitly convert this to an integer data type because by default it will be a data type of object, so which we don't want. And in this case, we are going to, you know, um, show this value in a pop-up box, uh, you know, by using the message box dot show method. And in this case, the, the output will be an object. So message box dot show can only show uh, a string value. So we have to explicitly convert this to a string, and that should be it. So this will, you know, so this is the same way as before. But in this method, we don't have to lock the variables ahead, but we have to lock the variables right before, uh, you know, when you access them during the runtime. So this is uh, these are logged or uh, uh, for read or write using the run, during the runtime. So let's save save this script and close this and click OK. And if you run this script, the output will be the same. So output will be the what we are sh uh, the message box is showing you the variable three, which is sum of variable one and variable two. Now you know as I as I discussed before, just make sure that these variables are already been created before in my last video that I was presenting you, you know, that I was showing you the other method of using script task and, you know, to read and write variables. Uh, but this method, we call it as the um, variable dispenser method. So uh, just to now just to compare the both the methods, you know, um, as in the first method and the second method first method you can see the amount of code that we have to write is very less okay in the second method you have to actually go through a lot of steps and to actually get the value so that is one main difference and the second difference is in the first method we have to lock the variables for read and write before while we access them in the collection and uh, in the second method we don't do that we just directly lock them for read or write wh while we are actually writing or while we are actually reading the value from the variable right before that we actually lock them uh, and you know this gets executed or this gets uh, worked out you know during the runtime you know what gets you know so so that is a second method of doing you know how to actually access variables using variable dispenses method hopefully you understood you know had a, now hopefully now you understand how to work with variables in script task